Dillon Reservoir is located west of the Continental Divide here in Summit County. Provides great recreation. Typically in the summer, you'll have kayakers and stand-up paddleboards and sailboats. Denver Water built Dillon Dam in the 1960s, creating Dillon Reservoir. It's a critical piece of infrastructure in our collection system that provides drinking water for 1.4 million customers. It's great to have all the recreational opportunities around, but its main purpose is water supply. Managing Dillon is, is really challenging, and that's because our primary goal is to fill the reservoir for water supply for the Front Range. But we have other goals, managing water levels for marinas, tourism, fishing, and hydropower. Along with those goals, we're trying to manage for high flows on the Blue River, and that's the tricky part. Above Dillon Dam, there's three main tributaries that feed into Dillon Reservoir. The Snake River, the Blue River, and the Ten Mile Creek. So we've seen large inflows to Dillon Reservoir in the past, and we do our best to manage the outflows, but Mother Nature can always throw us a curveball. We want the public to know that there are times that we can't control the outflow from the reservoir, that you'll see high outflows from Dillon Dam. The concern is once Dillon Reservoir is full and we get an extended runoff or an extreme rainfall event, all the water that comes into the reservoir will go out the spillway and into the Blue River. So that spillway keeps the dam safe and protects against a potentially catastrophic event, but it does uh, pass the flows through that are coming in and those can be quite large and result in some downstream flooding. Water plays such an important role in Colorado that climate change is going to impact us all. Our region has warmed two and a half degrees over the last 50 years, with much of that warming taking place over the last 30 years. Well, moving forward, we anticipate to see more changes, such as extreme events. So this can come in the form of extreme heat. It can come in the form of increased or enhanced droughts. It can also come in the form of rain on snow type events. And this can be a double whammy, right, because it can really speed up how our runoff occurs in the spring, and we could get a lot more moisture coming down through the watershed. When it comes to Dillon Reservoir, all these changes really complicate everything. During the runoff season, we know that's a really critical time up here. So we keep local officials informed of snowpack conditions, reservoir elevations, and how much water we need to release from Dillon Dam. Communication is key and it's really important to have the relationships with local officials up here because at the end of the day, the important thing is keeping people safe. <laughs>